Um, I want to start this with a question that was much, it actually was posted before the stream began by Arnold Henning. Arnold Henning posted this. I'm just going to let these guys keep, keep posting GIFs. Oh, that's a, that's one of my favorites right there. That's one of my favorites right there. I'm going to, uh, uh, this question was posted by Arnold Henning and the question was, Hope all's well. I want to get into long range cinematic FPV for as cheap as possible. Would you recommend analog or digital video transmission? And if analog, how strong the VTX? Another question Would you rather wait for Fat Shark's digital system or would you recommend DJI? That's the question we're going to tackle here uh, while the uh, GIFs keep. And I do say GIF, and I, I, will, I will brook no argument uh, while the GIFs keep flying for just a couple more minutes. Yeah, what do you get when you become a patron of Bardwell's other than just the the satisfaction of knowing that you've, you know, paid for services rendered? Well, you get to post GIFs on my live stream at the beginning of the stream. That's it, pretty much. Um, <laughs> the first question. Uh, Arnold Henning wants to get, Henning, Arnold Henning, wants to get into long range for as cheap as possible. Okay, as soon as you say as cheap as possible, the answer is analog, period. Because every single digital system is more expensive than almost any analog system. If you tried, if you tried to spend as much money as you possibly could, you could almost make an analog system cost as much as a DJI system or, or a HD Zero system. If you think about it, an HD zero VTX, HD zero one watt VTX, VTX please, VTX. HD zero one watt VTX coming in at a price of 100 bucks. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Oh, but you gotta buy a camera. HD zero run cam micro camera, 50 bucks. 150 bucks for HD zero just to get in the door. Oh, and you gotta buy an antenna. Does the, does the one watt come with an antenna? I'm not sure about that. It might, it might. So 150 bucks, 160 bucks. That's what you're looking at for a digital system like DJI or HD zero. It, it, it's almost impossible to make an analog system be that expensive. Although you could probably get close. You could probably get like a 45 bucks for like a really expensive camera, 45, 50 bucks for an expensive VTX and another like 20 bucks for an antenna. And you're still not quite there. But an analog system, you can get a very, very solid analog system for much less. Let's let's try to break that down. And one thing we can do is we can go to my website. And I'm just going to look at what I... The reason I make this website is not just for you, but also for me. Why is my website loading so slow? Is my internet down? Internet's solid. Oh, what what's going on? What That took way too long. Uh, let's look at five inch freestyle drones. Uh, this website is fpvknowitall.com. That's my website. Uh, and I've got cameras. So uh, this is out of date. Uh, the Foxier Aero Micro Pro is my inexpensive camera. It is basically, I, I left, it's the only analog camera that was available for 20 bucks. And I left it on the list because it was just such a good value, but it has finally gone out of stock and you really just can't get it anymore. So I believe I've got a card in right now uh, to add the, to change that to the Rattel. Yeah, remove Arrow Micro, replace with baby Rattel. Uh, so let's look at that. That's our going to be our choice. And I think it's 25 bucks which is still a pretty good deal in this day and age. Yeah, 25, 26 bucks. So for a camera, Caddx Baby Rattel, excellent camera for 26 bucks. Uh, it's the go-to if you're trying to save money. Now, as far as video transmitters go, this is a tougher one. Uh, like the Rush Tank Solo. Now that's an expensive video transmitter as video transmitters go at 50 bucks, but it is absolutely worth every penny, especially if you're trying to do long range. It'll legit put out one plus watt of, a, I think it's actually 1.4 watts or 1.5 watts is the actual output. It's one plus watts. Um, and, and Rush makes good stuff. Like, 
I would take a one watt rush video transmitter over like a two watt AKK video transmitter because I just feel like the rush is going to give you more solid transmission. Um, Mach 2, Mach 3 combo. Let's see, Mach 3 video transmitter. That's solid. It's made by AKK. It's not bad up to one watt. So you have a lot of choices. What's this new Fox here? Yeah, I know the one Jekyll. Where can I find, uh, there's this new Fox Ear one, it's two watts. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to find it, though, unfortunately. I, I saw it on, on Facebook. Is there a link to it anywhere out there in the world? 2.5 watts? There we go. 2.5 watt analog VTX. What are they calling it? They've just released it though and that sure does look like it's made by rush doesn't it it sure looks like that's made by rush which would be a good thing in my mind for the record that would be a good thing that it, it, it looks like rush manufactured this so like i would get something like this for 50 bucks and i would get a camera the aero micro is a fine camera and a good antenna and be good to go and you're gonna you're gonna be spending less than 100 bucks for the whole kit easy peasy now if you take out price as a consideration, then the question is, what do you consider to be long range? And if your definition of long range is less than 13 kilometers, I think DJI is going to give you the best experience. Um, uh, at least today. However, it has to be said, with the new HD Zero goggles in the works, with uh, DJI V3 in the works and with the new avatar system just getting ready to come out, I think you should wait. But if price is, price is your concern, analog's the way to go.